Hey everyone, it's Mike here from FilterGrade, and today I have a little tutorial for all the street and urban photographers out there. So if you find yourself taking a lot of pictures in the city, or in urban environments, this might be helpful to you. Basically we're going to create a faded, sort of moody tone to your images, and here's a little preview of what it will look like. So as you can see it adds a lot of color to the shadows and brings out some of the texture in this photo, and it can be really useful if you're just trying to have a nice look on some of your photos in the city. So to get started, I recommend opening your image in RAW and editing the light first if you take uh, photos on a DSLR. If not, just bring it right into Photoshop and then you can start here. So the first thing we're going to do is create an adjustment layer, and that adjustment layer will be a curves layer. Um, the curves help bring out some of the light and color in this image, so we're going to start by clicking right about here and dragging it up to about there. And as you can see, that brightens the image quite a bit, a little bit too much. Then click the top point and drag it about one third of the way down. This sort of blends the light uh, in the image as a whole. And then finally click here and drag this point down to sort of straighten this curve out at the bottom so that it's more gradual. And this makes sure that the image doesn't get blown out too much and blends the color a lot. So that's it for the curves adjustment. Next, create a uh, photo filter adjustment layer and turn the and switch from warming filter to sepia and then change the density to about 45 percent and this will just add a nice sepia tone to your image but it's a little too harsh right now so bring it double click your photo filter layer and bring it down to about 25 percent opacity and then it adds just a nice subtle tint to the image so it's not too powerful but it's just enough to give it something uh, after that click the adjustment layer again and this time we're going to select brightness contrast now for this, you're going to just, a very simple adjustment, just turn up brightness to 4 and contrast to negative 3, and that's all you have to do. And then finally, we're going to create a selective color adjustment layer, and this is where you get those deep tones in the image. Uh, we're just going to play with the whites, neutrals, and blacks for this image, but you can adjust every single level of color with selective colors, which is kind of cool. Um, to start, go to the blacks, and we're going to turn the cyan up to about 8, and then everything else below that will just be at 1%. Next, adjust the neutrals. Uh, we're going to turn cyan up to 3 this time, and yellow to 1. And then finally, in the whites, we're just going to adjust cyan to negative 10, and yellow to 10. And that'll be it for that. And then, I know I said finally, but there's actually one more effect you want to add. Um, click the adjustments panel, and then click vibrance and we're just going to turn the vibrance up to about 8 and the saturation to negative 5. And this will just boost the vibrance in the image and then turning saturation to negative 5 helps avoid oversaturating an image and it gives it a slightly uh, toned look which is nice for street and urban photography. And then after that you can close that and we'll group the layers up and that's about it for the street photo effect. So let me just turn this on and off again so you can see what it looks like. So here's before, sort of just a regular image, and then here's after, with the tones applied. As you can see, it adds some nice shadows and texture to an image, and it can really help with your street photography. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. I'd be happy to help you out. And uh, please subscribe to the channel. We're going to have a lot more tutorials coming out soon. Thanks so much.